Magnetic stabilizers are in place and operational. I am rerunning diagnostics on the quantum gate stabilizer. All systems check. Magnetic field stabilized. Quantum magnetron operational. That's great. We can move forward with the rest of the preparations. Ashley. We have finished all of the necessary preparations for the Rift Station power-up sequence. It wasn't easy, but we're there. It's hard to believe that we're finally approaching the moment of powering up the Rift. Please keep in mind that once we start the power-up sequence, it is going to need some time to finish. We will have to maintain a stable flow of all of the required resources during that time. The starting charge is only enough to initiate the Rift Station power-up sequence. The energy consumption of the station is going to be extremely high during the entire process. Please make sure that our energy grid can handle that strain before starting the procedure. We should build up additional reserves of supercharged plasma and coolant in liquid storages. If the Rift Station power-up sequence is interrupted, then we will have to cool off the station and restart the entire process. The Rift Station is going to emit an enormous amount of high frequency energy waves. We've already aggravated the local fauna with our actions. These emissions will be going out in a very large radius, so they will alarm all of the potentially aggressive creatures within kilometers of our base. We have to prepare for the strongest attack that we've ever seen. We have to make sure that our base is secured from all directions. This is going to be our final battle on Galatea 37. Let's make sure that we are ready before we push the button. Rift Station power-up sequence initiated. The energy flux is creating intense electromagnetic waves. I am detecting minor gravitational field disturbances. The power-up sequence is creating seismic waves. I can feel the ground shaking. The weather is going crazy. It looks like the whole planet is going mad. I am detecting hordes of creatures moving towards our base from all directions. There are thousands of them. Ashley, this is it. My hand is trembling. I'm not sure if I'm stressing more about the battle or by opening the connection to Earth. We've been here for so long, every day fighting for survival. We are prepared for the battle. I know we are. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. connector has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. 
Wall destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. Base is under attack. are low on ammo. Build more ammunition rate station power-up sequence completed. The quantum gate is stabilized. Ashley, we are ready to open the two-way portal back to Earth. We made it. It's hard to believe that this moment is finally here. We are receiving signals from the Earth. Quantum entanglement with the station back on Earth is confirmed. You have to manually insert your personal rift synchronization core to confirm the procedure from our side before the rift portal can be opened. There's so much diverse life on this planet. We've been here for so long, but have we studied the ecosystem enough to start colonizing the planet? Ashley, your primary objective was to establish a two-way portal back to Earth. Studying the ecosystem is not a priority. Your quantum synchronization core is paired with an identical object back on Earth. The pairing is fragile. If we don't finalize the connection now, the quantum entanglement is going to collapse and destroy the rich synchronization cores. If we don't go now, there is no guarantee that we'll ever be able to return to Earth. Ashley, you have to finish the procedure or the portal will collapse. We won't be able to get back to Earth if you don't act now. Procedure has overloaded the quantum synchronization core. Ashley, the portal is destroyed. We will not be able to open the rift to Earth without that core. Why didn't you finish the procedure? Opening the portal would only lead to the destruction of this planet. The creatures that we've been fighting were only trying to protect their home. Humanity is just like these creatures. It's an apex predator trying to survive by devouring other species, constantly expanding its territory. We can't stop humanity from colonizing this planet, but we can take more time to study it, to learn how to preserve as much as we can and how to coexist. They will send someone else to complete this task. I'm counting on it. Can't reconstruct it ourselves. 
We have failed our primary objective. I chose a different objective. Why would you do that? That does not make any sense. I want to build a new home for humanity on this planet, and I don't want it to be strip mined, exploited, and destroyed before there's even a chance to create a self-sustainable civilian colony. We were not tasked with building up a self-sustainable colony. Why do you assume that the planet would be destroyed? That was not the plan for Galatea 37. You've seen that final attack wave. All of these species from different parts of the planet were working together against us. If the expeditionary forces had stepped through that portal, they'd quickly label this planet as a hostile environment not suitable for human colonization. The local fauna is too aggressive and too dangerous to risk cohabitation. This is a bold assumption, and even if that were to be true, destroying the portal still does not make any sense. How do you imagine to make these creatures not try to destroy us? I don't know, but my duty as a scientist is to try to figure out how. There's too much at stake to not try. Destroying the portal only bought us some time. They will reconstruct the Rift Synchronization Core and prepare a new candidate for this mission. We can't stop humanity from claiming Galatea, but we have to try to prepare it for peaceful colonization. Ashley, your goals are my goals, and I will always follow your commands. However, please note that I think you are insane. Thank you, Mr. Riggs. Note taken. Okay, Miss Crazy Scientist, how do you want to save this world? I'm glad to have you on board, Mr. Riggs. Let's start with making our presence more friendly to the environment. I think that the first step to creating a self-sustaining economy is to switch from mining resources to cultivating them. It might be possible, but we are going to have to gather saplings from a lot of flora. Constructing such an amount of cultivators is going to be a huge undertaking. That's not all. If we want to learn how to live near these creatures, we have to study them. We need to gather research samples for all the species that we've met here. Watch your that, Ashley. This is going to be a long mission. The longest one, Mr. Riggs. The longest one. <laughs>